let's discuss trade-off. Hiram, at a high level, it feels like maybe every decision, even in life, there's some sort of trade-off that maybe needs to be made. How should we think about it in relation to software engineering? I had a professor in grad school who said engineering is the science of trade-offs. And this was in electrical engineering or some much more physically constrained, if you will, uh, engineering discipline. But, you know, it's the science of trade-offs. We have to make decisions about, are we going to put more engineer time on a specific project to try to optimize it and perhaps save computational resources? Are we just going to throw more computational resources at a problem and not worry about our software? What are we going to choose to spend our time on as we are software engineers as we're doing things? One of the discussions that Tyus and I have been involved in a lot internally is around technical debt. And that domain, how do we address technical debt internally? How do we incentivize it? And it actually turns out that a lot of people are really interested in cleaning up technical debt. It also turns out there's a lot of technical debt that you don't need to clean up, that it, it's an acceptable level of technical debt in kind of the ecosystem. I have a whole other talk you can go find where I talk about like technical debt as pollution in an ecosystem because there's a much more varied uh, kind of way of thinking about it. But so people say, hey, I cleaned, this, cleaned up this thing. I spent my whole week doing this. And, and we sit back and say, like, that wasn't actually the most important thing for you to do, right? Like you just traded off your time for a thing that wasn't actually that valuable. And so... In, in the software engineering discipline, we need to be thinking about, number one, what are the most impactful things that we can be doing? And then how do we you know, make those decisions in our organization? And we try to use as much data as we possibly can. If we could make every decision, if we had perfect data, we wouldn't actually need to make the decision because the decision made for us. We have an automatic system that makes the decision. The reason we pay people and humans to do things is because they need judgment and they need insight and we don't have perfect information. We have to make decisions and underneath those constraints and move forward. But we also need to be willing to revisit those decisions as the constraints change. So as the system evolves, as the data changes, as our ability to do things changes, we need to be able to revisit those decisions. Several years ago, when we first started doing these kind of mass migrations within our code base, like we obviously looked at the most highest priority ones. What are the things that really matter the most? And let's focus on that. And as we got better and better at this, one day Titus came to me and said, there is a file that has a dash in its name. <laughs> And that really bugs me. I wish it was an underscore because it was like inconsistent with the rest of the files in that directory. Or and we actually had data on this. We saw that engineers were mistyping the name consistently, and that was causing build failures. They had to go back and fix their code, or all these kinds of things. And so he says, "That would really, I would really like if we could change this hyphen as a word separator into an underscore." And so we did. Right? There was, uh, I think, fifty thousand references to this file across the entire code base. But our ability to make those kinds of changes had improved to the point where the decision, should we make that change or not, had changed. We'd gotten good enough at it that we could make that change with relatively low overhead and justify it based upon the very real costs that we could show that people were paying because this hyphen was an underscore or, or because the, we had a hyphen instead of an underscore. We don't want to annoy Titus, so that probably <laughs> loaded a lot into that decision-making factor. Um, Less than you'd think. <laughs>